गाइस दिस चैनल फोकसेस टू डिस्कस सम इंपॉर्टेंट नीट पीजी टॉपिक्स स्टे ट्यून डू लाइक सब्सक्राइब कमेंट एंड शेयर हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर बैक टू अनदर वीडियो इन व्हिच आई विल डिस्कस सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस इन दिस 5 मिनट ब्रेक ऑफ योर्स सो स्टे ट्यून दिस इज डॉक्टर शिवम केसवानी एंड आई एम स्टार्टिंग द मेटास्टैटिक कैल्सिफिकेशन इज कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय so basically hypercalcemia you see in this metastatic calcification you must know different examples also most common important growth factors in angiogenesis is ang1 necrosis with cell bodies retained as ghost cells so basically in coagulative necrosis you see retained cell bodies as ghost cells all of the following organ likely to undergo coagulative necrosis except brain you all know liquefactive necrosis occurs in brain grafting done between genetically different individuals of same species is allograft you should also know what is xenograft and what is isograft cell responsible for graft versus host reaction is uh, <coughs> immunocompetent t cell donor okay so true about hereditary spherocytosis is it is basically a dom- autosomal dominant thing defect in paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobin urea lies in cell membrane bernard solier defect now the again the question in the previous video i have discussed about the glanzman thrombosthenia where 2b 3a defect was there in gp 2b 3a in bernard solier it will it is gp 1b 1b9 so basically you have to remember it because i cannot name that exam but it is a exam question and people do confuse during exam so make a note of it remember it by heart h pylori causes all except so you have to rule out the options anterior gastritis of course atrophic gastritis yes gastric carcinoma yes but this is something which is not related or caused by h pylori maltoma is located in which layer of git it is an important question lamina propria what generate intracellular signal when cells are subjected to shear stress so this is something which is important focal addition molecules generate the intracellular signal when cells are subjected to shear stress antisco cells are basically macrophages which are seen in acute rheumatic fever <clears throat> all of the following features are of paget disease except so basically if you do not know the answer rule out the thing like defect in osteoclasts yes can cause deafness of course can cause osteosarcoma yes but it the common in female so you can, if even if you don't know you can rule out that it is not common in female first to appear in acute inflammation so you will answer this question from basic thing only but little controversial mallory hyaline body is of made of keratin ring sideroblasts are seen in sideroblastic anemia poor prognosis in aml you should know the good and the poor prognosis in case of aml true about wound healing with primary intention is by day 5 epidermis recovers its normal thickness so just read the wound healing process blood transfusion is a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction glomerulonephritis associated with sensory neural deafness a very important repeated question in easy also alpert syndrome most common malignant tumor of salivary gland so salivary gland tumor is another very 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 important topic which you should read okay they are going to ask one question so here it is mucoepidermoidsy and in that question you have to uh, mind every word what they are what the examiner is going to include in your question because the answer differs with every word they include carcinoma due to inherited mutation of proto oncogene is the lee fromeni syndrome now coming to other questions site of carcinoid in case of hert is tricuspid valve grade of tumor most common site actually De- grade of tumor denotes degree of differentiation how much a tumor is differentiated is denoted by its grade following is true about pleomorphic adenoma except so as i have said salivary gland tumor is an important topic so it it is wrong that it does not involve some mandibular gland it do involve and it is the commonest neoplasm of salivary gland mostly involving the parotid gland and is also called mixed tumor as the name already suggests pleomorphic carcinoma which arises in thyroglossal cyst is papillary carcinoma that's why actually you need to do the <coughs> ultrasound and you need to remove whole of the means do the cystrunk operation to see 
uh, and to remove whole of the thyroglossal cyst in total. So papillary carcinoma is one carcinoma with which there is a possibility in case of thyroglossal cyst. Which of the following is not a feature of Down syndrome? So basically clinodactyly hypotonia respiratory tract infection or the seen pigmented birthmark is as such or not a feature of Down syndrome. Most common type of class 2 mutation in cystic fibrosis is deletion RB gene on 13q. Again this uh, for this gene and chromosome I have made one video do watch that and you will get one question from it. Most common cause of congenital anomaly in human are chromosomal aberration. This is a very important question. Chromosomal aberrations are the most common cause of congenital anomaly in humans. See, this is a very simple question, very easy also. But if you haven't read it, if you haven't go, uh, went through this MCQ, you the chances are that you may get confused during the exam what to mark. <clears throat> See, options, uh, the maternal infection drugs, these are irrelevant options. But in the real exam, you will get the options which are will be, which will be similar and will make you confused so the <coughs> here comes the role of doing the mcqs leukocyte migration to the site of injury occurs due to ltb4 in which of the following arthritis erosions are not seen so of course sle fenton reaction leads to <coughs> free radical generation when ferrous ion is converted to ferric ion do see what is fenton reaction it's important which of the following regarding bombay blood group is false so basically <coughs> you you have to go through the different blood groups and bl bombay blood group is one thing which you need to understand because some concept lies behind this definition of exudate is uh, easy one i'll discuss only the highlighted one most of the easy ones you will already be knowing mesothelioma is positive for which of the intermediate filament so it is basically positive for cytokeratin so tumor marker is very important keratinization and pearl formation is characteristic of squamous cell CA in multiple myeloma there is proliferation of plasma cell endothelial molecules participating in rolling is CD34 obliterative endarteritis of vesovesorum of aorta is seen in syphilis important question most common site of gastrointestinal Tinal carcinoma is ileo jejunum, so it's a repeat question. Okay, so uh, I'll discuss two more. Histological finding in hyperplastic arteriosclerosis is concentric layer onion skin lesion, mus mucinous intimal thickening, fibrinoid atherosclerosis. I discuss this because uh, today they are also asking picture based questions, so they may give a picture of cross sectional histological specimen of hyperplastic arteriosclerosis and they may ask based upon this finding so you have to see if you know this finding then you can see this uh, these finding in the picture and make the option right as hyperplastic arteriosclerosis the most common antecedent of erythroplakia and leukoplakia is basically a tobacco use so this completes uh, this uh, part of video and i i wish all the very best all all the good luck for you for your uh, this exam and uh, you will surely succeed the hard time will go and good time will come so hoping this hoping everything good all the very best to you this is dr shivam signing off thank you